Hello everyone, I am Ranjit Jadav. Today we are at the beautiful Velas Beach in Ratnagiri on Maharashtra's west coast. The third episode in our series Navigating the Wild is about a village which was once infamous for eating turtle eggs, but the same village has now become a role model for the Olive Ridley Sea Turtle Conservation Work. For the first time on the west coast of Maharashtra, a total of five olive ridley sea turtles were radio tagged or what we say were fitted with PTT device by the Mangroves Foundation along with the researchers from Wildlife Institute of India. This year, two other olive ridley sea turtles were radio tagged by the forest department and released back into the sea on the west coast of Maharashtra. The data that will be gathered from the radio tags that have been fitted on the sea turtles will give us an insight into the secret lives of these marine creatures. Nestled between a secluded beach on one side and the picturesque mountains on the other, Velas is a tiny coastal village in Mandangad Taluka of Ratnagiri district. In 2002, members of Chiplun based NGO Sayadri Nisargamitra visited Velas to do a survey of the wide bellied sea eagle nest. While conducting the survey, the team members noticed some empty eggshells on the Velas beach. The team was shocked to learn that the empty eggshells belong to olive ridley turtles, a marine species protected under the Wildlife Protection Act. What was more shocking was the fact that these eggs were a mealtime delicacy for some villagers. At the start of the Olive Ridley turtle nesting season in 2003, Bhau Kardare, the head of the NGO Sayadri Nisargamitra, asked Mohan Upadhyay, an educated youngster who had left the hectic Mumbai life and returned back to his native ancestral home at Velas, if he could assist Kardare in the turtle conservation work. That was the first time when Upadhyay realized that there were turtles in the sea close to his village. My name is Mohan Dattatre Upadhyay. I am a Sahihadri Nisargamitra Chiprun. I am a member of this project. And I have been working in Mangrove Foundation, Mangrove Cell Forest Department as a research assistant. And I have been working in 19 years in this sea turtle conservation. In 2002, the Nisargamitra Nisargamitra has started this conservation activity. उन्हें कोई तो एक ऐसा लड़का चाहिए था जो थोड़ा पढ़ा लिखा हो जो ये डेटा मेंटेन करे कि कितनी मादाएं आती हैं कितने अंडे मिलते हैं कितने बच्चे छोड़े जाते हैं वो जब भी चिपलून से यहाँ पर आते हैं चिपलून वेला से करीब 110 किलोमीटर दूरी पर है यहाँ पर वो जिसके घर पे रुकते थे वहाँ पर उन्होंने इंक्वायरी की कि कोई ऐसा लड़का गाँव में मिलेगा क्या काफ़ी सारे घरों में मेरा ही नाम बताया गया कि एक लड़का मुंबई से यहाँ पर मुंबई छोड़ आया आप चाहिए तो उससे बात कर सकते हो और वो मेरा पहला दिन था जब मुझे समुंदर में कछुए होते हैं ये बात पता चली मुझे तब पता चला कि मुझे एक ऐसे जानवर के बारे में काम करना है या मुझे काम करने का मौका मिल रहा है जिसे मैंने आज तक जिंदगी में कभी देखा नहीं था और जानवरों से लगाव होने की वजह से मैंने इस काम में बिना कुछ सोचे समझे भाऊ को हाँ कह दी और तब से मैं भाऊ के साथ इस प्रोजेक्ट में काम कर रहा था गांव में एक बुजुर्ग हैं गोपीनाथ महाड़िक उन्होंने सबसे पहले भाऊ को बताया कि यहाँ पर कछुए आते हैं एक वक्त पर एक मादा करीब 80 से 150 तक अंडे देती है और गांव के लोग बीच पर आकर बैठ जाते हैं और जिस मादा के अंडे उन्हें मिल जाए उसे लेकर घर पे चले जाते हैं जब संस्था के लोगों को ये पता चला कि कुछ गलत बात यहाँ पर हो रही है तो उन्होंने गाँव के लोगों को बताया कि इसकी अहमियत क्या है और वहाँ पर असल में इसका कंजर्वेशन शुरू हो गया क्योंकि अभी तक तो संस्था को पता चला था कि गांव के लोग इसे खाते हैं और उसे ख़त्म कर रहे हैं लेकिन अगर कोई मादा आती है और वहाँ पर अगर इंसान मौजूद नहीं है तो वहाँ पर काफ़ी सारे प्रेडिटर्स भी बीच पर मौजूद होते हैं जैसे कि कुत्ते हैं जैकल्स है या फिर वाइल्ड बोर है ये सूंग कर पता लगाते हैं कि मादा ने अंडे कहाँ पर दिए वो नेस्ट ओपन करते हैं जहाँ तक उनका मुंह पहुँचेगा अंडे खा लेते हैं नेस्ट ऐसा ही खुला रखते हैं क्योंकि मादा अंडे देने के बाद नेस्ट रेत से भर देती है ताकि वहाँ पर इंक्यूबेशन के लिए टेम्परेचर तैयार हो 
प्रेडिटर्स नेस्ट को ओपन रखते हैं यहाँ पर हवा उन अंडों को लग जाती है नतीजे में उसमें से कुछ भी बाहर नहीं निकलता समझिए प्रेडिटर्स से भी अगर ये बच चुके और एक नेस्ट से इनक्यूबेशन पीरियड जो इनका होता है 45 से 55 दिन का अगर ठंड का पीरियड है तो 60 से पैंसठ दिन लगते हैं ऐसे वक्त पर अगर ये बच्चे बाहर निकले रात के वक्त इन्हें क्रैप खाते हैं जब ये पानी तक की दूरी तय करते हैं अगर दिन का वक्त है तो क्रैप के साथ साथ हवा में उड़ने वाले काफ़ी सारे पंछी हैं जैसे कौआ है चील है ब्राह्मणी काइट्स है या सीगल्स है ये इन्हें खा लेते हैं एक बार ये पानी में चले गए तो बड़ी मछलियाँ इन्हें खाती है आहिस्ता आहिस्ता ये बड़े होते हैं फिर फिशरमैन के नेट में अटक जाते हैं उनके बोट से टकरा कर इनकी पीठ क्रैक हो जाती है काफ़ी बार फिशरमैन के जो बोट्स होते हैं उनके फैन ब्लेड से इनके फ्लिपर कट हो जाते हैं 20 इयर्स लेटर मोहन उपाध्याय एंड द पीपल ऑफ वेलास विलेज हैव एस्टेब्लिश्ड देमसेल्फ एज द एक्सपर्ट्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ टर्टल कंजर्वेशन आज मैं इस काम से इतना जुड़ चुका हूं कि मादा कछुआ पानी से निकलने से बाहर निकलने से पहले मुझे इंट्यूशन मिलता है और मैं बताता हूं अभी फीमेल आएगी और आधे घंटे या एक घंटे के बाद वहां पर फीमेल आती है और अंडे देती है दो द होल ऑफ महाराष्ट्र कोस्ट इज बींग मॉनिटर्ड फॉर सी टर्टल नेस्टिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द नॉन ब्रीडिंग एरियाज ऑफ दीज टर्टल्स इज एबसेंट वाइल्ड लाइफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया विद द सपोर्ट ऑफ द मैंग्रोव फाउंडेशन undertook satellite tracking of five olive ridley turtles with the objective of tracking the breeding and post nesting movement of turtles from maharashtra coast and explore details of their diving behavior from this study we'll be getting uh, data of uh, migration of olive ridley turtles basically uh, there are uh, many hypotheses like uh, turtles they come on the same beach every year for nesting also uh, it is learned that they sometimes come two or three times in the same season for nesting so all this hypothesis can be confirmed by this study even though the turtles have been coming to our coasts for uh, many years we do not know where they uh, go after uh, they lay the eggs so we do not know anything about their movements or their migration in the sea uh, as opposed to the western coast uh, such studies have already happened on the eastern coast of india uh, in the state of odisha so uh, wildlife institute of india has uh, undertaken uh, satellite tagging of uh, many olive ridley turtles in uh, on the odisha coast and uh, now we have a fairly good idea where these turtles move where do they migrate uh, in the bay of bengal and the indian ocean so similarly such uh, data was missing Uh, from the arabian sea from the west coast of india and uh, the data which will be gathered from this activity uh, will be useful for the f- future conservation activities ptd device which are uh, fit on the carapace of the turtles so they have a salt water uh, on off switch so that when the turtles dive uh, these uh, tags are automatically switched off and uh, when these turtles uh, surface uh, again for breathing the transmitter is switched on and the transmitter communicates with the argos satellite this argos satellite then relays the data to the ground station from where the data is sent to the servers where the scientists from wildlife institute of india access this data and then the data is converted with the help of some software and uh, it is plotted on the map and uh, that gives us a migratory uh, pattern or the movement pattern rather of these turtles so last year uh, in the month of january uh, we satellite tagged two turtles uh, along the coast of maharashtra uh, the first one was tagged in uh, velas and the turtle was named as prathama because she was the first and the second turtle was uh, tagged uh, in anzarle a beach uh, 10 km south of velas uh, and this turtle was uh, named uh, as sauni after that three more olive ridley turtle females were tagged at the beach of guhagar uh, on 15th and 16th of uh, february 2022 were named as vanashri reva and lakshmi these turtles uh, were then released back to the sea and for about 4 uh, to 5 months uh, we got uh, their satellite data uh, where they were moving due to some technical uh, glitches we could get data only for 4 uh, to 5 months but whatever data we could get it was uh, highly uh, interesting and important data uh, hopefully the wildlife institute analyzing the data right now we can get some good insights into the behavior and migration of these turtles 
Prathama, uh, the turtle which was tagged in Vedas. So, she transmitted data for uh, a little over 4 months and in these 120 days, Prathama travelled a distance of 1450 kilometers. Uh, when she was released, earlier she started moving into uh, the northern direction and she went till uh, the coast of Gujarat and uh, she was there uh, in the waters of uh, Gujarat coast for uh, a few days and then uh, she turned back and headed south. She was uh, somewhere uh, near the coast of Sindhudurg and Goa. Savani also started uh, earlier on a northwards uh, trajectory but then uh, she turned back and uh, headed south. In the month of May uh, or June when we lost uh, transmission, uh, she was uh, off the waters uh, of Karnataka. Uh, Reva and Vanashri also uh, showed uh, southward movements. Reva also reached the waters of Karnataka. Uh, and actually at the time of the final transmission, uh, Savani and Reva were quite close and uh, at the time of final transmission, uh, the uh, Vanashri was uh, uh, in the waters of Goa. Vanashri uh, transmitted for 173 days. The distance she travelled was around 1200 kilometers. All the turtles travelled around, uh, I mean more than 1000 kilometers. The preliminary data analysis has shown us that the turtles showed two specific type of movements. Uh, one was where they were constantly, uh, regularly moving uh, in a particular direction. So this was kind of a migratory or a movement phase. And uh, there was another phase where the turtles would uh, used to move around very slowly in the same area. And this could go on for days or weeks or even months. The WI scientists, they think that this is a phase where uh, they are mainly foraging or feeding because they tend to remain in the same area. It was also observed that uh, all these turtles, they mainly uh, moved uh, on the continental shelf area. Uh, the western coast of India has a very uh, big continental shelf. Only quite a few times, uh, turtles, especially Reva and Savani, they ventured into deeper waters. Uh, Reva recorded the deepest dive. The dive was around 332 meters. Rather, all the turtles uh, showed uh, southern movements and they were uh, at the time of the last transmissions they were uh, in the waters of uh, southern Maharashtra, Goa and Karnataka. So this might be because of the water currents uh, which uh, start moving in the southern direction uh, during the onset of monsoons. As a result of the initiatives taken by the like-minded individuals, the town is now a popular tourist destination and provides villages with employment prospects thanks to the annual turtle festival which attracts thousands of visitors. Thank you for watching our episode on Olive Ridley Sea Turtles. Stay tuned for our next episode. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.